My name is Chase Lamer. I'm a Maritime Enforcement Specialist in the United States Coast Guard, and I'm a canine handler. My canine's name is Buddha. Buddha is embedded in a 24-person direct action maritime assault team. Thinking back to 9-11, I was young, but I remember thinking to myself, when I grow up, I want to help people. That eventually led me to joining the Coast Guard and uh, meeting K-9 Buddha. K-9 Buddha is expected to perform in a multitude of different operational environments that are high stress. We take on missions and operations that require a highly specialized team to interdict vessels either offshore or landside as well. Once we actually get down to the vessel, now our job turns into looking for explosives. I think the qualities that Buddha brings that make him such a great asset for us is when it's time to work, you can clearly see almost like a light switch goes off and he's very focused on the mission. A lot of the operations K-9 Buddha and I do involve uh, local ferry sweeps, uh, shoreside patrols. We'll go do large events out in the city, such as Comic-Con, parades, concerts in the park. When we're out there, you gotta imagine you're looking for explosives. No matter what, just getting a call out, there's a potential for something very bad and catastrophic to go wrong. Those teams are designed really for anti-terrorism to try to identify any threats that may be present. We train with real explosives, but we're trained to handle them safely, and I can tell when he's on explosive odor. His reward is a big squeaky tennis ball. This is what Buddha works for. Anywhere this tennis ball goes, Buddha goes. K-9 Buddha and I have been very fortunate in our ability to go and do a lot of community outreach. Buddha's first mission, that was the Rock and Roll Marathon. Down Since Buddha is a very friendly dog, we can go to local schools and we can uh, talk to kids and uh, hang out with them. And a lot of the kids find comfort in just hanging with Buddha, petting him. I think this is one of the best aspects of my job. So I couldn't do what I do on a normal day to day without my wife, Kelsey. She's also a great mom to Buddha. When Buddha got home, he really didn't show any interest in me at all. But over the course of six months, he completely came out of his shell. He is now a complete goober at home. Buddha has an Instagram with 19,000 followers. He has become kind of an influence in the dog community. K9 Buddha and I were also involved in a ton of law enforcement operations. We rely on Buddha to deter would-be attackers. Buddha is risking his life to keep us safe. The whole aspect of a helicopter operation with K-9 Buddha is extremely dangerous. Buddha's fearless. It's definitely double the fear having two people leave every day, two men in my life leave every day to go to work doing something dangerous. Buddha is a hero every single day. One thing that makes me most proud of Buddha is his dedication and loyalty and just his need to serve his country. Buddha deserves to be the hero dog.